This is the Norcast Weather Channel. Brought to you by Resorts AC. Visit the Pink Pumpkin, a Halloween-themed pop-up bar with a breast cancer awareness twist. Proceeds from drink specials and events will be donated to the Real Men Wear Pink campaign. Open through Halloween. And good late Sunday evening, meteorologist Bobby Clark with an update on your forecast. Thank you for joining me this weekend. Certainly do appreciate it. Temperatures starting to dip back just a bit as that cold front has continued to pass through in uh, through the area with those scattered showers and even a couple of rumbles of thunder. So temperatures still on the eastern seaboard on the war, on the more milder side. But look at this back here. This is what we get to look forward to. Wow, temperatures dipping back into the 40s. Highs maybe only in the 60s. Welcome to autumn. Certainly we can enjoy it after what we dealt with for the last eight weeks of dealing with warm temperatures and muggy conditions. A little closer to home, 59 Hamilton, 61 Tuckerton. 65 in Atlantic City, 67 in Cape May, 56 in Norristown and Doylestown. Wow, very nice out there. Trenton scene, 60. So you can almost pick out where the cold front is pushing on now. Looks like it's crossing the Delaware River as we speak at the moment. Taking a look at the future cast as we look through tomorrow. So look, basically see some dry conditions as we head throughout most of this week. Only fly in the ointment. Yes, we're going to have the dry conditions, low dew points, uh, temperatures right where they should be for this time of year, even below normal. The only fly in the ointment we could see periods of seeing maybe some cloud cover moving in here. Not going to form any kind of rainfall. So if you have any outdoor activities, as I mentioned throughout the day, if you have any kind of outdoor sports, I know autumn sports is in full effect, soccer, field hockey, stuff like that, you should get them all in all this week because we're going to see dry conditions. But occasionally we'll see these the cloud cover pushing every once in a while thanks to low pressure spinning up into Canada. Then by the end of the week, we'll put our eyes to where possibly where Ian's going to be as it can potentially could push up into our area and bring it some of his moisture with him, thank goodness, because we're just absolutely dry out there, so we could certainly use any kind of rainfall out there. Speaking of which, showers will end as we head through the next couple of hours, becoming partly cloudy as we head towards daybreak. Temperatures dipping back into the mid to upper 50s in some places, even some lower 50s. Southwesterly breeze, I think it's going to turn more west, I think, as we head towards daybreak, so feel much more drier as you head out and about for the bus stop and for work for tomorrow morning. As for your Monday, look at this. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Finally, after dealing, like I said, with eight weeks worth of just disgusting, muggy heat that we've had, this is going to feel so wonderful. Uh, you know, mainly in the mid to upper 60s for tomorrow. Clouds, I think, to start the day, I think we become mostly sunny, maybe some more cloud cover as we head towards the afternoon hours itself. Seven-day forecast, as I mentioned, we're dry throughout the rest of the week. Look at this. Temperatures in the lower 70s, even some upper 60s. Depending on how much cloud cover we get, that's going to be the key with our temperatures. But again, the key is going to be the fact that we're going to be dry, unfortunately, in terms of the drought. Good news, of course, as I mentioned, for outdoor activities. By the end of the week, into the weekend, that's when we watch Ian to possibly bring its effects to us with some rain showers and some uh, possibly some thunderstorms. Thanks again for joining me this week, weekend. I'll see you next week. Take care.